and welcome in everybody glad you're with us interleague baseball on mlb the show it's the seattle mariners taking on the los angeles dodgers all right we'll be back to get this one started after this just about ready to go and on the hill number 18 and Siggy, he's a workhorse, loves pitching deep into his starts. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And one and two. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. That's no. inside. Two balls, two strikes. And that skips in the dirt. Swings and misses. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. One of the things that's cool is Rodriguez, even as young as he is, has formed kind of a neat relationship with Ichiro Suzuki. They met back in 2019 when Julio asked to take a photo with Ichiro, and the relationship has grown since then. Freeman takes it to the bag. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Mariners are down in order. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, now the starting pitcher in this one, Casey Lawrence. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup. Really. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. Here's Shohei Otani. Next offering is down low. Two and one. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from One your ball. infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. Batting four. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like 
a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent ball. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is even two and two. Bounce to third. Whips it across, and they get the out on Smith. And that is the inning. Mookie Betts with the big strike in the inning. It's now 1-0. Welcome back. And now here's the veteran DH, Mitch Garver. The wind of the pitch. And a curve misses outside. That's in there. And now two and two. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Here's a one-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch is downstairs. Good eye right there. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. Hanniger checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Now here is Ty France. Hanniger, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering <laughs> is down low. On the ground, a short could be two. Steps on the bag for one. And that's two. Offense held in check there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers one and the Mariners nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's Jason Hayward. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Chris Taylor now. And there's a base hit to left. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. No outs. Runners at first and third. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. center field that's back and that one hops the wall coming around third is Taylor he's also in to score and they lead by three he's safe at third it's a two-run triple well he really had to battle for that one man that was so fun to watch that pitch came off the bat really well in the center field and he clearly put a nice swing on it and anytime you can get one to drop in out there you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, to a man, these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. No outs, runner over at third. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. 
Now here's Chris Owens. Got him swinging. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. The 3 1. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. France makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a pair here, both coming on this two run triple. It's now 3 0. It's made. On to the third inning. Leading Here's the third America. baseman, Josh the Rojas. Baseman, number four. Two Josh. and one now. Rojas. Swings through that Rojas. one for strike two. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's Taylor Trammell. Left-hand batter waits. And that is cut on and missed. And the count's full. Bows it back with two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, you always want those pitches back as a hitter. It caught a lot of the zone and definitely not the intended location, but those splitters can dance around and miss a barrel That's even when they're not perfectly executed. Got it by him for the K. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. Still down, three nothing. And welcome back. Leading off, Shohei Otani. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important One for him strike. to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this ball. one. This is inside, and now three balls and a strike. And that one fouled off. And a 3-2. And there's ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. So, man aboard. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The batter now will be Will Smith. First time up, he grounded to third. The catcher. Will. And a pitch. On the ground, two ball. Knocks it down. Over to Polanco. They get one. And it's a double play to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers three and the Mariners nothing. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Next offering in the dirt. And a count two and one. And that's outside. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. 
The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And stepping in is the speedy Julio Rodriguez. One ball. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The Mariners still looking for their first hit in this one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. Nope, if you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Here's a two on. Good eye right there. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Full count. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. On the ground to short. Betts to second, and a run scores on the double play. And now, Mitch Hanniger. Here comes a pitch. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. Runner stays put at third. Swings and misses, struck him out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Dodgers three, and the Mariners one. Welcome back, ready to go, bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. And a swing and a miss there. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Makes the grab. And there's one down. The batter. The left field. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Why to kick the pitch? Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Next pitch oh, inside. Two and two. It's a good take. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Hot shot to third. On to France, inning over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and the score stays three to one. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the first baseman, Ty France. Number 23, Ty France. 
That's a strike. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Feels like almost every bat has gone full. They've worked a full count six different times, and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now. Here's Josh Rojas. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. To third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And now for Seattle, Taylor Trammell. His first at bat was a strikeout. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Next offering is two. in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Got it. That's his second strikeout. One left for Seattle, and they still trail it here, three to one. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Trent Thornton. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Payoff pitch. And a ground ball to first. Oh, wow. nice play. Throw to the pitcher. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers fielding plays. Chris Owings steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And now 2 and 2. And that's downstairs and outside. Activity in the bullpen. Ty Adcock appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Santos, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Swing and a bouncer. Over to first. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie now. He's already homered here in this one. Two outs. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. And gone. He made him pay for that one. His second home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. Now nah, he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat and watch it go a long way. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Base is empty with two away. Here's a big power threat, Shohei Otani. This guy has turned into a beast. That's Next a offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. And forget it. They do it again. Back to back homers. And they add a run. It's 5 1. That's their third home run of the game. 
They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now. Big. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The 1 1. Outside. One strike. Swing and a miss. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 5-1. And welcome back to the batter now, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. And the pitch. And a count one and two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Next pitch way upstairs. Up the middle. Bats up with it. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And the batter now, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez, you're talking about one of the top young players in all of baseball, Chris. So talented, a rookie of the year, an all-star, and a silver slugger. And what I love about this kid is that he's all about the team. As much talent as he has, he could be focused on his individual numbers, but you can tell the way that he plays the game that they feed off of his energy. The one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And he deals. And a foul ball. pitch swing and a miss struck him out couldn't catch up to the heater three up three down for him there to the bottom of the six we go four five six coming up it's the back here at the ballpark and up to the plate is Will Smith the catcher That one down the line and foul ball. You know, these Dodgers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. <laughs> Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. and misses it's a strikeout 
Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Got it by him for the K. Dodgers down in order. They're up 5-1. Welcome back. Mitch Garver up to hit here. The designated hitter. Mitch Garver. The wind and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. That one misses. So a lead off walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The the hitter corner. didn't offer at it. The now right he has fielder. somebody to worry about Mitch over at first. Hanager. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. And a 2-1 on the way. Aye. And that's in for a strike. If you're going to get Two something ball. going, this Two is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. Out. On to Freddie. Double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And now it's one and two. Stays alive. The one-two. On the ground to third. Can't glove it cleanly. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Here comes the manager out of the duck. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Matt Gage. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now Josh Rojas. Off the mark there, and it's three and two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Denelson Lamette looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Taylor Trammell now at the plate. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. France over at second. Rojas at first. Two out of the inning. Up the middle. Throw on to Freeman. And that is that. Mariners leave a couple. They're down here, five to one. Ty Adcock into the game. And now the center fielder, James Outman. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 70, Ty Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rodriguez right there to make the grab. One down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Chopped left side, Rojas. Slings it across, two up, two down. Now batting. Chris Owens steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Meanwhile, 
activity in the bullpen. Ryan Stanek appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. That one in for a strike, two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers go down quietly. They lead this one, though, 5-1. We're at the top of the eight at the play. Sebi Zavala. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. Upstairs. That to right. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're... Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, J.P. Fireisen. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Stepping in, Julio Rodriguez. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Right-handed reliever. That one just missing inside. Three and two now. Got him swinging. One out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him swinging. Now it's the Mariners DH. Mitch Garver. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. All three. Three balls. One Mitch Hanniger to bat next. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two come in on this Seattle homer. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Mookie Betts will get us started. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
And a ball and two strikes. Two, two, down. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The line of the pitch. And another ball. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. The 2-1. And there's a ball. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Freeman will take his nope. base. Ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked now the hitter. Man, catcher. you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Gregory Santos. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. The 1-1. One, one. That went back up the middle, and it gets through. Otani coming home. The throw is offline. He's safe, and they take a three-run lead. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So first and second with one man gone, Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Next offering is in for a strike. The punch out there. And there's two down. So first and second with two outs. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Freddie around third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And they're up by four. Comes through with the RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So two on with two away. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Smith, the lead runner at second. Taylor on at first with two down. Ball Off the three. mark there. Two balls, two strikes. This to center field. Rodriguez makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. They put two on the board on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Through eight full, it's the Dodgers seven and the Mariners three. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Denelson Lamette. So digging in, Mitch Haniger. Denelson Lamette. Three, two on the way. That's to third. Gathers and oh. throws to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Ty France, the next to the hit. Baseman, number 23. 
time. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Ty France goes deep, and they cut into the lead. It's 7 4. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel, and boy, he just hammered that. Recognized the break, and man, this guy kept his front foot down. Weight didn't transfer until the exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Evan Phillips on the pitch out of the pen here. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. One and two now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, a four pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. This one finishes with a final of seven to four. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line for this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, seven runs, eight hits, one error, they left four men on base. For the Mariners, four runs on five hits, no errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.